Hey guys, welcome to SolidCam University channel. In this video, we'll be covering how to use the shop floor editor and how it can benefit you guys. So we'll just do a quick preview on how it works and show you guys um, what it can do for you guys and go from there. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna run SolidCam as a standalone. We're not gonna open up SolidWorks, we're just gonna run SolidCam by itself. And this is basically shop floor editor right here. Um, it's not gonna have the SolidWorks behind the scenes for you guys. Um, and it's just gonna open up this little dialogue right here. So. And this works really good for if you guys are down um, on the shop floor and you guys just want to review your toolpath or you want to make some modifications to some feeds or speeds um, or if you want to change the tool or tool diameter and stuff like that. Uh, the only thing you aren't able to do is change physical geometry. So from right here, I'll just right click on my cam part and we'll just go up to the, the recent cam parts here. And you'll see that it actually loads up all my geometry or all my operations right here. Um, I can come in here and, you know, change my, or edit the chord sys, the tool levels and all that right there. Um, same thing with the stock and the target. I can come in here and modify my tool list if I want and change it to different diameters. Maybe you want to apply different feeds and speeds once you guys see it on the, on the uh, shop floor. Um, and then right here, I can open up any one of my face milling operations and make modifications there on, except for the geometry. Um, so, you know, if we need to come in here and switch our tool data to a slower feed rate, you can just come in here, just do save and calculate, hit OK, and it's updated. Now, the, another nice feature about this is um, you guys can actually do the verification with the shop floor editor, too. Um, and it's nice because you don't have to pull a seat of SOLIDWORKS. And the shop floor editor is very cheap, so um, you're getting a lot here. And it, like I said, it works really good for, um, you know, if you have a, a setup group that just does setups all day long in a production shop, or just yourself, you got done programming that part, you went to run that part a couple days later, and you don't want to, you know, transfer your SOLIDWORKS seat, you, can, you guys can just purchase the uh, shop floor editor, and you guys can actually see exactly what's going on here. So let me just pull it into a simulation mode right here. Now you'll see it pulls up a little bit different than what you guys are normally uh, used to seeing, but what you can do is just do, you know, you can uh, do a 2D, 3D, everything but HostCAD. And, and the reason we can't do HostCAD is because we don't have SOLIDWORKS um, at our fingertips right here. So we just do a solid verify. And you guys will be able to see what's actually going on with that particular toolpath there. And, you know, if you're, just want to, you know, if something's getting close to the fixture and you guys just want to validate what you guys did or what the programmer did, uh, this is where it really helps out using the shop floor editor because you guys can see exactly what the programmer did, um, all the feeds and speeds, and you guys can fully, um, you know, change all those feeds and speeds too. And the nice thing too is once you guys update those feeds and speeds, that's going to update the programmer's com uh, uh, program also. So if you change that feed rate from, like you saw, we went from 300 down to 200. It's going to update the programmer's uh, program at the same time. So next time he goes to open that part up, it'll already be updated for him, and uh, he doesn't have to go and make changes to that program also. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys how kind of shop floor editor works here and um, how it can benefit you guys. But uh, that should be it. If you guys have any questions, definitely give us a call on the support line, 866-975-1115, extension 2. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.